scout. I do apologize. As I've explained before, it's a constant battle for Mr. Arataki with his mental instabilities. I know it's caused no end of problems for you, and I can assure you that he regularly feels very remorseful about that too. Exactly. Yes, and that's why he has such a big heart for other people struggling with similar issues. Um, the Arataki support group was actually founded precisely to try and bring something positive out of that. Yes, all of them are good, honest people underneath. It's just a shame that they still haven't found a cure after all this time. Oh, but no, 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 not me. I'm not a sufferer. Hmm? Huh? Ah, just the person I need. Mr. Uesugi, my friend here can confirm everything I've told you about Mr. Arataki. To put it simply, he experiences strong emotion more acutely than most and easily becomes highly excitable. And deep down inside, all the members of the Arataki support group are some of the most down-to-earth, kind-hearted people you could ever meet. Huh. Even the Traveler is here to vouch for the Arataki gang. So you're saying we've had them wrong all this time? <clears throat> you make a good point. You know, I heard Yoriki Owada saying how the Arataki Gang's deputy has studied abroad and is well-versed in the law. I was wondering why someone with that much talent would choose to stay with the Arataki Gang. Here's the thing, though. We have solid evidence that those three were illegally posting flyers everywhere, and we've received a lot of complaints from members of the local community. I appreciate what you're saying and everything. I'm just not sure I can let them off so easily. Oh, please accept my sincere apologies once again for all of that. Mamoru and the others probably believe that they would be able to reach more people in need this way. Unfortunately, they were so eager to help that they ended up causing more problems than they solved. The Arataki support group assumes full responsibility. We will work quickly to restore the clean and tidy living environment that the community quite rightly expects. But with only myself available, I'm afraid that it could take a very long time to remove all the flyers. Having their help would have made things much quicker. I'm just a little concerned that if progress is too slow, the complaints will only keep coming, which ultimately only makes more work for you and your colleagues. Uh, I... Uh, all right, fine. I'll go fetch them. But don't think I'm gonna make a habit of this. Finally! We're saved! Hey! Hey! I knew Shinobu wouldn't abandon us! What up? The Arataki gang is back in town! <clears throat> Sorry, they're getting a little overexcited at the prospect of being able to serve the community. Alright guys, make sure you get every last one of those flyers back, okay? And don't forget to apologize to the residents and ask for forgiveness. I assure you, there won't be any problems. Will there, guys? Uh, yes? No problems. We'll, we'll be sure to get the job done. <sighs> I really hope letting them go was the right decision. They better not cause any more trouble. All right then, Shinobu, we, uh... We'll go apologize then? Yeah, we better be quick, or... Not so fast. Ah! Last month, you almost got the fire brigade out when you were roasting lavender melons. Five days ago, you angered the whole neighborhood by hosting the great sing-along in the middle of the night. And today, you go plastering flyers all over town. How many times will you have to be arrested before this stops? But 
We put up those flyers to tell everyone how great the Arataki gang is. No more excuses. You know, I had real plans at Uyu Restaurant today. But it looks like you guys need a little slap on the wrist first. Ah! Help! P -p please you don't want to do this. You could have just left us in jail instead. Are you serious? Shinobu, please calm down. Calm down! There we go. Huh. Huh. You got off lightly. I have more important things to do today. We'll finish this off tomorrow, is that clear? Huh? Tomorrow? Do we have to? Excuse me? Got it, got it. We'll, we'll leave you to your other plans. Huh. Oh, why did you just stand there and watch? Don't you care about us at all? I guess that's true. And the longer she puts it off, the angrier she gets. But she said there'll be more to come tomorrow. Oh, if only Shinobu was busy tomorrow, too. Hmm. Hey, how about we hold her up somehow, so she still has things left to do tomorrow? Ugh... That sounds kind of risky. If we end up sabotaging Shinobu's work, even Boss wouldn't be able to protect us. Would he? Yeah, if Shinobu ever found out it was us... <sighs> I don't even want to think about it. No way! We won't do anything bad. We're just gonna go and have a look and, you know, hold things up if it's possible. <clears throat> I, I mean, we can't just sit here and do nothing, can we? If you don't trust us, why don't you come and watch? Uh, you know, to keep an eye on us. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with just taking a look. Who knows? Maybe it'll give us some other ideas. Also, if the Traveler's there, we can probably talk our way out if we get discovered. Um, okay then. From what Shinobu was just saying now, she should be heading to the Uyu restaurant. Let's quietly follow her and just see how it goes. <sighs> Looks like they're not on the first floor. Maybe they're upstairs. This is Miss Kuki Shinobu, whom I've recommended to you before. Hello, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Kuki Shinobu. I studied law in Liyue, so while I couldn't claim to be an expert, I do have a rudimentary grasp of the basics. <laughs> From what I've heard, Miss Kuki, I'm sure you're being very modest. I'm looking forward to working together. I can assure you that she is exceptionally capable. All the doshin from the police station have vouched for her abilities. Well, with such a glowing endorsement, I'm almost tempted to ask you if you'd like to start right away, Miss Kuki. You flatter me, Madame Norika. But perhaps we can discuss the role in detail over our meal before deciding how well I'm suited to the role. Oh, forgive me for getting ahead of myself. You're quite right, Miss Kuki. Let's continue this discussion as we dine, or the food will get cold. <laughs> it's quite understandable to be hungry for top talent. Akira, Genta, did you hear that? Is Shinobu at a job interview? And look who it's with, the Tenryo Commission Tengu. Never thought I'd see that self-important Tengu acting so polite. Who's that other woman they're with? Some big shot official? Well, duh! That Tengu is the Shogunate's general, so that other lady has got to be someone ridiculously high up. Well, whoever it is, it looks like Shinobu is going to take a new job with the Shogunate. You heard him. The job's practically hers already. But without Shinobu, what's going to happen to the Arataki gang? We got to do something. Quick, let's go tell the boss. He should be looking for Oni Kabuto nearby. Uh, are you sure we should go up there? Boss! 
Bad news, boss! Really bad! Whoa, hey, hey! What's with the panic vibes, huh? This is the Arataki gang, remember? It ain't bad news till we show up, am I right? <laughs> so come on, what's up? It's Shinobu. She... She... Shinobu's gonna go work for the Tengu! What? Shinobu found a new job? You have got to be kidding me! No, it's true, boss. We saw her at the interview with our own eyes, didn't we? Uh, that slimy... I knew that Tengu had her greedy eyes on Shinobu. I mean, she's obviously jealous of the Arataki gang's top-class talent, but now she's trying to poach my people? Ah, that thieving Tengu! But they're already asking her for a start date! It's in the bag. The interview is clearly just a formality. <laughs> well, based on my experience of interviewing once every three days, I know for a fact that they will have been plotting this for a long time by now. Oh, there is no way she... Well, actually, you know what? You could be right. She does get treated pretty well in the Arataki gang. I mean, every time we win some snacks, she does get first pick. But I heard that a day's salary in the Shogunate is enough to buy a week's worth of snacks for the whole gang. Yeah, but still, in the Arataki gang, we have a more relaxed working environment, don't we? Seriously, have you ever seen that Tengu smile? No! She always has that same sour look on her face. <laughs> But we seem to be the only ones who are relaxed, no? Every time we get caught, Shinobu's the one who has to come and get us out. Do you think maybe after we got arrested for posting flyers this time, Shinobu finally had enough? Wait, so it's not a misunderstanding then? It's all our fault. We made Shinobu angry and now she's found a new job. Boss, what are we going to do? Without Shinobu, the Arataki gang won't survive! All right, you guys, uh, come with me. We'll, we'll go door to door and apologize. And we'll, uh, we'll tear down all the flyers. What? But boss, it took you months to make those! Don't you think I know that? I know what it took- I... <sighs> We have to show Shinobu we're truly sorry, and this is... It's the only way. Boss! <laughs> also, I need you to do something for me. Go find Shinobu and tell her you want an interview. If you tell Shinobu that you want to join us, suddenly she'll have a whole different outlook on the future of the Arataki gang. With you and Shinobu as my trusty number twos and Arataki numero uno Ito run in the show, we'd be unstoppable! The Shogunate would have a tough time competing with us then, huh? Whoa! Nice one, boss! The Arataki gang rules! What do you say, partner? Haha, <laughs> okay! I'll leave Shinobu to you then. Boys, we've got some apologies to make. Alright then. You can expect us to be in touch very soon to follow up, Miss Kuki. It's getting late. I should get back. I hope that the next time we meet, we'll be at the headquarters of the Tenryo Commission. Thank you. I'm truly honored. Huh? When did you get here? Huh? Whatever. What did you want? Ugh. Have Genta and the guys caused a scene again? An interview. You want to join the Arataki gang? You haven't consumed any strange substances, have you? So this isn't a joke. Huh, that kind of makes this even more concerning. It's not like you don't know the Arataki gang, so what's gotten into you? Uh, I mean, uh, what sparked your interest in joining? I see. Well, enjoying it from the outside is one thing, but actually being in the gang is a whole different story. I have to go into town to take care of some routine gang business. You can come with me. Consider it your internship. After that, if you still want to join us, we'll see how it goes.
Ah, Shinobu. Can I get you anything? No thanks, Mr. Shimura. I'm actually here to apologize on behalf of the Arataki gang for the whole posting flyers incident. Oh, <laughs> that. Don't worry about it. Your boss and his pals already came to apologize. Not only did they take down all the flyers, they cleaned up the shop for me too. Wait, are you sure that was the Arataki gang? Did the leader have horns on his head? <laughs> sure did. Ah, it looks like at long last, they've turned over a new leaf. How is this possible? I find this all very hard to believe. Let's head to Tsukumomono Groceries. Welcome to Tsukumomono Groceries. What can I do for you? Sorry, Miss Aoi. I'm here on behalf of the Arataki gang regarding the incident with the flyers. Oh, the flyers? A bunch of guys came by and cleaned them up already. They also kept loudly proclaiming that they were going to compensate me in full if it was the last thing they did. This whole thing really wasn't a huge deal, so I told them that if they really wanted to make it up to me, they could just buy something from the shop. They huddled together and discussed it for a while, and in the end they bought the most expensive item in the store, even though all four of them had to empty their pockets to get enough mora. What the... Have they really had a change of heart? There's one more person we need to apologize to. Let's go. Hey, girl in the mask! Guess what? The guy with the horns came to see me, and he gave me back all the snacks he won off me yesterday. <laughs> wow. Did he? Well, I also brought some snacks. You can take them, too. Then you'll have extra in case they come to play cards with you again. <laughs> no need. They promised they're never gonna take my snacks again. Is this really the same Arataki gang I know? No, I have to see it with my own eyes. Huh? Look, they're down there right now. It's really them. Hey, are you posting flyers again? No, no, we're innocent. We're cleaning them up. <laughs> you Tenryo Commission types. Maybe if you opened your eyes, you'd see that people can change. Ever think of that? Playing the blame game before you even understand the situation. <sighs> no wonder you're always catching the wrong people. <clears throat> Sorry, Doshin. Please don't mind them. They're just a little overexcited. <sighs> Shinobu and the Traveler. We're saved! I know how preposterous it sounds, but they have in fact been cleaning up the flyers. Numerous witnesses in this area can attest to that. But I just heard about a street gang who've been reported for posting flyers. And look at this thing! This is clearly the guy with the horns. Even the expression is identical. Oh! <laughs> Turns out this Tenryo blockhead's a real art connoisseur. Yeah, really captures my style, doesn't it? So, you admit it then? <laughs> right, that's it. You're coming with me to the police station. Wait, please. I can explain. Uh, what's going on? So sorry, Madam Norika. I'm just stopping some hooligans from posting flyers. We already told you we are innocent. Are, are you even listening? You've been detained at the police station for graffiti countless times. You're really trying to tell me you're an innocent man? Well, Oni, but that's beside the point. It's different this time, I, I swear! Doshin, this is Miss Kuki, a business partner of mine. I can vouch for her honest and forthright character. If her friends have done anything wrong, she will not hide it. Perhaps we could hear her out first? After all, since we're going to be working together in a few days, it would be a shame to let something like this come between us, don't you think? Working together? Oh, you mean the thing Madame Kujo Sara briefed us on? Understood. We will hear your explanation. <sighs> all right. <sighs> I see. So, you did post the flyers, but then you did the responsible thing and came back to clear them up. 
It seems I jumped to conclusions on this occasion. Please, accept my apologies. No apology needed. We know how much trouble we've created for you in the past. <sighs> well, I'm glad to see that the misunderstanding is resolved. Well, I will see you soon. I hope we can work together effectively. Uh, most certainly, ma'am. Boss! Did you hear what they said? This means Shinobu has already made her decision? Yep, looks like it's time for us to make a decision too. Move to the backup plan! Guys, chill! What are you up to now? Shinobu, thank, thank you, you for, for everything. everything! Hey, what's this all about? <clears throat> Shinobu, this is a parting gift from all of us in the Arataki gang. We all pitched in and bought you this from Tsukumomono Groceries. We know it's nothing compared to your salary in the Shogunate, but... A Naku weed bracelet? What am I supposed to do with this? Shinobu, don't forget about us when you're at the Tenryo Commission. We'll all try and be better people, and better Oni. We promise to stay out of trouble and not make your job difficult. Wait, who said I'm leaving? Also, Shinobu, when you couldn't find your snacks last week, the truth is... I ate them. And last month, I stole that toy we won, and when you came and asked me for it, I, I, I lied, and I told you it was broken. <laughs> <sighs> hey, no crying. We talked about this. Send her off with a smile, all right? Who are we? We're the... <laughs> the Arataki gang. Shinobu is moving on to better things. We should be happy for her. <laughs> You're right. You're right, boss. <laughs> the Arataki gang rolls! <laughs> hey, don't you start too. Oh, is this the Arataki gang you mentioned, Miss Kuki? What an interesting group of people. Yes, sorry for making a scene. Mm, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Norika, a merchant who does business between Inazuma and Liyue. Recently, I've been negotiating a business deal with the Tenryo Commission regarding medical supplies. <laughs> huh? A merchant? Wait, so you're not a Shogunate official? Of course not. I'm just a merchant. I was lucky enough to secure exclusive sales rights for some new first aid supplies from Boo Boo Pharmacy recently. So I thought I would ask the Tenryo Commission if they would be interested in establishing a long-term supply relationship. Injuries are a regular occurrence in the army, after all. Cross-border trade is a complicated affair, but, fortunately, Madam Kujo Sara was able to bring in a legal consultant proficient in the laws of both nations. Oh, you mean Shinobu? That's right. Thanks to Miss Kuki, our negotiations went very smoothly. The rest of the process will probably take another 10 to 15 days. After that, I will have to borrow Miss Kuki from you again for a while. I can definitely spare the time. So long as these guys stay out of trouble. Ah, uh, yes. I have a little compensation for you all. Here, some trial packs of our new supplies. Miss Kuki tells me that you often find yourselves in injury-prone situations. I heartily recommend our product. This is unexpected. So she's really a merchant? <laughs> oh, you guys, I knew you must have gotten the wrong idea. Shinobu would never quit. <laughs> Look at all this fuss you made over nothing. Pfft, planning a whole leaving ceremony. Uh, but wasn't the backup plan your idea, boss? Um, <laughs> all right, well, if we're done here, I'm going to head to Tsukumomono Groceries and see if they'll let me return the bracelet. Wait up, boss. We'll come with you. Hold it right there. Uh. Last week's snacks, last month's toy. What else aren't you telling me? Oh, uh, the thing is, you see... You've all got your new first aid supplies. Don't you want to test them out? Run, run, run! 